Hello, and welcome back to the show. All right, this is Dibbles, and we're coming back at you with another video on animes. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Animes. All right, so anyway, let's get into it. All right, so one of the things we're going to cover tonight is... Uh, coming down to settings and then you're going to come up to webcam. You're going to open up webcam and then uh, you're going to select your webcam in the drop down bar. Once you get in there, you get your camera selected. Then you're able to come down and close your settings. And then uh, you should have uh, what I'll do is I'll try to link a uh, the Streamlabs OBS. Uh, page for you to go and download OBS Streamlabs if you want to do that and then uh, we'll jump over to Streamlabs here in just a minute and uh, yeah we will uh, we'll take a look at Streamlabs and what you need to do to get uh, enemies hooked up over there all right okay so let us see here all right Okay, so once you're over here in uh, Streamlabs, uh, you're going to come up to Source right here in the center, right above the center boxes, and you're going to click on Source. You'll have many, many uh, options to pick from, image, uh, color block, browse source. These are all things that you can mess with at another time. The one we're interested in right now is Video Capture Device. So I want you to go up and select video capture device. Then go over to your right, come down to where you see add source. Click on add source. Okay, that will bring up a webcam and in the middle box. Now come to the webcam, go all the way over to the right to where the gear is, okay? Once you select that, then come up at the device area you're going to select Anime's Virtual Camera, okay? Uh, you're going to want the resolution at 1280 by 720, 60 FPS, and the video format is XRGB, okay? So once you get all that stuff um, all selected and stuff, you will be all hooked up from Anime's to Streamlabs. And once that happens, then all the magic is at your fingertips. So you can stream at uh, all Twitch and all kinds of different things from this station here. This is really great. I love this uh, OBS Streamlabs. It's great. Uh, I will highly recommend it. I will try it, like I said, try and get a link in uh, the description for you. If you're interested in Streamlabs OBS, uh, we'll get you hooked up in that direction. All right, let's get back over to um, animes and we'll go over some sliders. Yeah, sliders. The more complicated but fun part of uh, messing with animes. All right, guys, we'll get you back over there real quick. Okay, so we're back in animes. All right, so one of the things you're gonna do uh, when you're fine tuning animes is uh, there's a there's a whole deal about uh, the slider bars so what I'll do is we'll get you in here to where I'm talking about and you're gonna go to advanced tracking and configuration right okay so I did show you an example of eyes what I did with them but we're gonna go into a little more detail tonight on how to get these dialed in okay so this is my understanding of the program by just fiddling around and messing with all kinds of stuff. Uh, you, you use these sliders right here. See this? You use that slider and you try and get it within the window of uh, the little pink bar that bounces around. Yeah, like so. Once you do, then your behavior should be, I mean should be, in the correct atmosphere and being correct I should say 
So you should be able to come in here and adjust all of these until you get your sensitivities to where they need to be. Right? Right. Okay. So this works for the eyes. This works for the brows. I'll show you what I've got down through here so far. As you can see, we're all kind of fluctuating within that line. I got a couple that are out of sync right now, but uh, yeah, I'll mess with those later. Not a big deal. We'll work on that later. Okay, jaws and cheekbones. You can see here I got these a little bit out of whack. There we go. So, as you can see, we should be getting closer. Now, my voice might lag out from what my uh, mouth is stuck in. We might have uh, audio lag while I'm messing with all this stuff. So, keep that in mind for right now. Okay. So, we looked at jaw and cheeks. Now, let's look at mouth and tongue. Alright, so you can see my sensitivity and range is way off right now, but this one is pretty much in there. I mean, it hops all over the place, but uh, like I said, if I am misunderstanding this, then by all means, um, let me know. But um, yeah, it's been a work in progress for sure. Hopefully I don't get my face to freak out on camera. That would be awkward. Okay, so like I said, this is my settings down through here for mouth and tongue. Now on to the nose. This is kind of, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time in here, but um, yeah, I guess you can get your nose to do things. Hmm, I've never tried, so that's kind of awkward. All right, so anyway. Getting back over here to what we're looking at. Uh, let's see. Well, let's look at the head. Um, as you can see here, you're able to turn around and look and, and move, and it just smooths everything out. Head yaw movement. Da, da, da. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's how it works. But as you can see, we got everything dialed in right there. Uh, let's see body now that's a little awkward because gee, we just show from the chest up so yeah uh, but you can show the whole body if you want and uh, that's an option with that you can use this to smooth out its movement and get things uh, under control Okay, so now that we've looked at the body and the mouth and the nose and the head and all of these things, now that we've got a look at that, if you guys have any questions about the tracking or anything that I can help with in that area, let me know. I'll be happy to uh, pop back into the comments and talk to you about it. Be more than happy to. So one of the other things that we can cover here uh, is let's see we covered general video graphics and webcam uh, in my previous videos uh, we just touched on webcam in this video here uh, select the camera that you got that you're using and you should be good now audio this is a little bit different uh, you can do virtual voice and all kinds of different things so virtual sound card output yeah, you can goof around with this all you want to. Then you got language, controls, gamepad controls, dedicated capture window. This is also an important thing. What you want to do is dedicated capture window is enable this. And then once you do, 
you know, able to switch on a bunch of this stuff here and you could do some experimenting with it. I have not done a lot of experimenting in this area yet, but it's something I got on my agenda. It's on my to-do list and trust me, I like getting into things. It's fun. All right, guys. So let's take a look back at settings and see if we missed anything. Uh, no, it looks like we're pretty good on this as this uh, goes. Uh, let's see. We covered a lot of this in the previous videos. Right? Right. Okay, so. Alright, guys. I think this will pretty much bring this video to an end. I thought I'd cover a little bit about the sliders and getting those all in order. So we're going to go from there, right? Okay. So like I was saying, I uh, appreciate you guys as always. And uh, if you got a chance, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it really helps the channel. So if you'd like to stay tuned in and know what Dibbles is up to on a daily basis or weekly basis, then uh, yeah, feel free. Subscribe. It'll be awesome. All right, guys. I uh, will get you out of here and on to your next video. Alright, take care and we'll see you in my next video. Take care.